My camera battery is low. My baby is asleep. Let's do this. Hi, this is RGV and you're watching RGV Love. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, click that subscribe button. It's a very mukt kamal hai. When you are a parent, usually all your dates are family dates. <laughs> if you're looking for ideas on how you can go out with your husband and your little baby, then keep on watching this video. When your baby is really, really young, I don't really think a lot of us actually step out. And even if we do, it's like just to run an errand or grab a cup of coffee. And which usually ends with the baby crying and you rushing back home. <laughs> But as in when your baby grows, I think for us, the point was for everybody is different because every baby is different. But for us, I think after our baby turned one, or when around he was like 11, 10, 11 months, around that time, we started getting comfortable taking him out and being out with him. Even now, of course, there are times if it's uh, time for him to eat or sleep, he does get cranky when we are out. So we have to kind of maintain our schedules and timings and dates and this and that according to him. But now I think he started to enjoy going out, and we have started to enjoy going out with him. <laughs> Recently, me and my husband went to this uh, fancy restaurant to have. Chinese and there was live music and all that was like super romantic, but Arivi was cranky all the time and that is kind of when I realized that he's growing up and he has started to observe the environment around him and he has started to understand that this is an adult size setting, this is not for me, and that made me realize that now I have to plan family dates. I don't have to plan. Dates where me and my husband would enjoy, where it would be like romantic for us. I have to now plan dates which are semi-romantic and a lot more fun. So these are just five ideas that I have in my head. I want your help as well, and I want you to comment down below what your idea of a date is with the baby. I know, of course, I can always leave our baby with his grandparents, and we can go grab a cup of coffee, but. I think the whole idea of going out with your child is also so much fun. The so number one idea I think which everybody has is to go on a picnic. Parks are the best place ever. Recently, Arvind has been enjoying parks so much. He loves the open space. He loves running around. And if of course there are slides or swings for him to play on, he gets super excited. And which is exciting for us too to watch him run around, to run after him, to. Have, we haven't really had a picnic so far, but we've gone to parks with him, and which was really really fun. We clicked pictures, we had a fun time, and you know, I think the romantic aspect in it is itself to see the human being that you have created run around and have an exciting time, and to just to watch him grow, and to watch him, you know, instead of walking, actually running on the grass, just watching that. In, Trust me, it's a different kind of high. If you don't have a child right now, and if you're, I don't know why you're watching this video in the first place, but if you don't have a child, you probably not understand this. But it's a different kind of high, and it's a different kind of emotional connect that you have with your partner when you have a child with that partner. So that is where the romantic part of the picnic actually comes along. And obviously, a picnic is fun. The baby will enjoy it, and you guys will enjoy it. Second idea that I have is to go to the zoo, and I think. This is kind of when your child starts to recognize animals. So Arvi right now has started recognizing animals. He knows what a dog, what a, what is a giraffe, a cat, cow, horse. So if he looks at different animals, he will get excited. And I, anyways, have always thought of zoos as like the best place to go with your partner because a there's a lot of walking involved, um, the different type of animals. Plus, I think everybody. Has gone to a zoo in their childhood, so you always have those um, childhood stories to tell each other, and it's just a very, for some oddest reason, I find zoo a very exciting place to go on a date on. And now that we have a child, uh, we can't wait to take our baby. Trust me, we have been planning the zoo date since forever. It is just not happening. Something or the other comes up, but I am so excited. Give this video a like. A big thumbs up if you want us to go on a zoo date and vlog it. Number three, which I am actually waiting for the summers to set in a little bit more. It's already really, really hot and summery in Delhi. It's spring, but it's almost summer. It's really hot these days. But I'm waiting for it to get a little more hotter so that we can have a water fight. <laughs> I think that's the best and the most cutest date probably that you can have is to have. 
a water fight with your baby and your husband go to a terrace go to a bank balcony have it in a bathroom but it's basically i think a date a date can be called a date if you're spending time together if you're not like together without the cell phone <laughs> i think in today's day and age a date can be called when you spend time together with your significant others without the cell phone <laughs> that's a date and of course if there's water involved nobody is going to bring out the smartphone and of course if you want to like if you love the mess and you can, if you can go more messy then how about painting if your child is older you can always paint finger paint especially with your child and your husband you can go for like i don't know how paintball wars would work because i don't think children are allowed not sure about that but if your child is really really young uh, you can also mix food color with yogurt and use that as paint i am so like basically just play holy <laughs> basically just play holy i'm sure the babies will enjoy holy itself this year was it was a little cold so we couldn't play like with water with our reveal but i'm so waiting for summers to set in properly and for me to go up on the terrace and play with him and with my husband that's that's probably one of the best day ever number 4 is this is a tip that i recommend not just for people who have kids but for just for couples is to go on a touristy tour of your own city so wherever you're living uh think of the places that you know if somebody would come visit your city so if somebody would come visit delhi what are the places that i would you know take them to or tell them to you know go as a tourist too and that i think is brilliant because say even if you like go out and travel with your baby you're going to go to the touristy places anyways right so Why are you not going to touristy places with your baby in your city? So that I think is a, a great idea too. Like I haven't seen Red Fort in Delhi. My mom says I might have when I was really really young, but I don't remember at all. And I know there's a lot of walking involved, but I would love to go as a tourist <laughs> to Red Fort and to Humayun's tomb. I haven't been there either. I haven't been to Akshardham temple again, which I have heard is a huge tourist spot in Delhi. Yeah. I don't think I've been to these places, and I would love to go. I haven't been like I have been to Kutub Minar, but Adi Bil hasn't. So I would love to take him. I haven't been to Lotus Temple. There are a lot of places that I can visit as a tourist in my own city, which would be exciting for Adi Bil, and of course, it'll be like a little date for me and my husband too. My number five are, is for people who have older kids, kids who basically understand the concept of dating or understand the concept that mummy, papa, papa are going there, and for that i would like to advise you let the child decide so the date is basically all planned by the baby the baby decides where you go what you wear what you eat it's a fun day all together so from choosing what clothes you'll wear to what will you do on the date everything the baby decides the kid basically not the baby Anyways, those were my top five tips of going on a family date or going on a date with your baby. If you have any more advice, please comment that down below because I am looking for advice personally. So please, 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 if you have any ideas, comment that down below. It will help everyone out. It will help me out. It will help you out. Anyways, I will see you guys soon. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, click that subscribe button, please. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.